Hi, good night everyone and welcome to this short uh, video of mine. Um, tonight I will talk a little bit about the United Nations Resolution number 2504 uh, regarding West Papua. This is the resolution that Indonesian government based its claim on West Papua. Indonesian government claims that um, UN actually approves West Papua's uh, integration was Papua's integration into Republic of Indonesia, which in fact is not true and it's in incorrect. So we need to go back and read this UN resolution number 2504 and really understand what it says in that uh, resolution. And I think a lot of people uh, hasn't read, uh, gone back and read, uh, read this uh, uh, resolution and they're still confused and didn't especially Indonesians, they don't really understand what it says in that uh, resolution. All right, what it, what's actually written in that resolution? Actually, what happened is that the nation secretary general decided that he would put before UN the report of its own representative, who were then West Papua during the time when the act of free choice was going on, or let's say act of no choice was going on, and also he would put before UN the Indonesian report. So there were two reports, the UN representative, representative uh, his report, and the Indonesian report. And then the resolution, all it said it was, this is the resolution number 2504, which is what Indonesians rely on. So really, all the resolution says is that this is that United Nations General Assembly takes note takes note of the report of the Secretary General and Secretary General and acknowledges and appreciation with appreciation the fulfillment by Secretary General and his representative of the tasks entrusted to them under the agreement of 9th of 15th August 1962 between the Republic of Indonesia and the Kingdom of Netherlands concerning West New Guinea. So really, so really, so they were taking note of the report that says that Secretary General has carried out his duties and the duties of the Secretary General was to advise, assist and participate in the arrangements of the Act of Free Choice. Well, Indonesia paid no attention to the advice. The Secretary General did very little in the way of assisting and even less in the way of participating. So really, all the secretary, all the general assembly said, is that we take note of this report. So they were actually taking note of report. There is nowhere or anywhere in the United Nations secretary general, uh, secretary, sorry, United Nations general assembly, a resolution which says the United Nations general assembly approves the integration of West Papua into Republic of Indonesia. It's, it's, there's nothing stated in the, in the UN Resolution 2544, nothing. So really, I think Indonesia is actually uh, con trying to confuse the international community by using your Resolution 2544 uh, as a basis to claim its, its, its illegal, uh, its current uh, illegal occupation in West Papua. So... <clears throat> But, you know, so let us go back and really understand for a moment what is, an, what is really an act of self-determination. Number one, it is based on universal, universal adult suffrage. So that means anyone over the age of 18 in West Papua must be given that opportunity to participate in an act of self-determination in West Papua. That clearly didn't happen in this case. And they, in during the time in West Papua, there was a population. Our population was over over one million plus. So, so it is automatically in breach of the UN resolution, which sets out the process by which you have to have an act of self determination in West Papua. So this this is in breach. Number one, it's already in breach of the UN resolution. Number two, the people have to be allowed to vote. No West Papuans have ever been vo never voted for integration 
there has never been an act of self-determination in West Papua in which our people have been allowed to vote. All that has happened is that this tiny group of people, 1,025 people, who were forced at gunpoint, who were coerced, who were threatened, who were intimidated into declaring that they wanted to remain with Indonesia. And number three, the third thing that you uh, you need to do is you, you need to have Indonesian government needs to have the uh, you need to have range of choices. These include independence, association with other states, or integration. Those choices were not offered to the Papuans. They were simply asked whether they would remain. They would declare to remain with Indonesia, and Indonesians were telling each assembly what the previous assembly has had done so really this is this is this is this is completely illegal there were eight assemblies and then they had to declare the debate took place in front of some high-ranking indonesian officials including the minister of home affairs the person heading up the west Papuan provincial government a brigadier general and the chief of information services so really there was no way that you could say that there was free atmosphere in which to make a decision and these officials were just observing they were it was bad enough that they were there but they were also telling the people what the right decision would be so the governor told each assembly that they had declared that they had already expressed that they had decided not to be separated from indonesia unbelievable and therefore, the, the assemblies had to declare that they wanted to remain with Indonesia. So there was no free vote. This is set out in the UN report. This is set out in the UN report. And this is also set out in the Indonesian report. So it is definitely a matter for United Nations because they were complicit. And, the, and we can also tell you that they, when the vote came up in 1969, there were several countries, mainly African countries, who, who disagreed with, with it. So it is really an unfinished business of UN. And the United Nations really does need to ensure that there is a free act of self-determination self -determination in West Papua. So we, the people of West Papua, demand that in the, um, UN needs to come back and complete it, come back and correct its mistake of the past in West Papua and correct this correct this correct this mistake. This is this is the grave injustice that UN uh you know as a is a as a trusted um organization we looked upon UN for help and UN has basically failed the people of West Papua. And we the people of West Papua demand the United Nations needs to go back and in um and re and go back and uh, revisit uh, this uh, resolution 2504 and make it null and void because this is not this resolution no way in this resolution that says that UN approves the integration of West Papua into Republic of Indonesia there's nothing there's nothing stated in this in this uh, resolution all it says about UN Acknowledging the two reports from the uh, from the both sides, from the Indonesian and from its representative who were there, so really this is where it's confusing. You and really need to tell Indonesian exactly what it means in that in that resolution, because as far as I know, there wasn't any vote that took place in West Papua, a uh, democratic vote uh, 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 referendum where every where Papuans were given an opportunity to participate in the referendum. And what happened is United Nations allowed uh, uh, you, uh, Indonesian government to, to take control and manipulate the whole, whole voting process. And as a result, uh, West Papua was, uh, Papuans were not given an opportunity to, to, uh, to decide their own future. And we demand the United Nations needs to come back and correct this mistake. This is the mess. You created it. You were complicit. You knew about this, that you knew that this is wrong. And yet you allow Indonesians. To, uh, to take control and, you know, um, uh, manipulate the system and, and everything. And as a result, Papuans are now suffering. We've, we've lost about 500,000 Papuans now. 
and this is part of your this is the, you are partly blamed for the what's uh, what, what what's happening now in West Papua, and we demand the United Nations needs to come back and revisit this uh, resolution and correct the mistake of the past. And we we demand in the uh, UN also to put more pressure on, on Indonesian government to have to immediately have access to West Papua because currently there is an armed conflict going on in West Papua, uh, up in the central highlands of West Papua. Indonesian government is sending more military into West Papua, and as a result, there is mass mass ev evacuation of civilians. Thousands of civilians have fled into the jungle. And people are no longer safe. There is there is a serious humanitarian crisis going on right now in West Papua. This wouldn't have happened in West Papua if you wouldn't have done its job uh, correctly. And we demand the United Nations to immediately look into the case of West Papua, and have a genuine uh, referendum in West Papua if need be. It it has to be done. It has to be done immediately. And we demand that you need the United Nations cannot continue to ignore the, the, the plight of West Papuan people. It needs to act, get its act together and bloody fi fix the mistake of the past. This is this is part of your wrongdoing, West Papua. You allowed Indonesian's government, Indonesian government to ma manipulate the whole uh, referendum uh, voting in West Papua. And we, we want nothing else than for the United Nations to intervene immediately in West Papua to send its uh, officials in immediately and uh, find out what exactly is going on in West Papua, West Papua right now. And yeah, thank you. I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, frustrated because, you know, we, we are the victims, you know, we are the victims of what UN has, uh, uh, UN allowed these Indonesians to take control and how the Papuans were, you know, uh, you know, forced to become part of it. We are not meant to be part of it. We are a sovereign state. We are a nation of our own. We're not meant to be part of Indonesia. And we want that same right like every other nation, any other country as country. We want to be a country of our own so we can, go, we can run and govern our country and we can, we can take a uh, uh, look into the affairs of our own people and manage our uh, manage our own country in a much better way than, than it is currently under Indonesian rule and control because under Indonesian rule and control, there is no future for West Papuan people. All we know is about killing, suffering, intimidation, and our life is no longer the same. We, we are people, uh, we our people urgently need the help from UN and the international community. And to finally, to finally settle the, the dispute, the 57 year dispute between the Indonesians and the Papuans, because legally Papua has a right to self determination under international law. And we demand that same right, and we, we want UN to Im act immediately and give us that same right so we can, we, can, we can have a genuine referendum so our people can decide uh, what they really uh, want. Thank you.